Wouldn't that be fun to climb? Oh, the cabbage is going through it. Five to 12 years old. Oh, yeah, look at that. It blew down. The cabbage palm is going through. That's a really, really big tree. I bet you that's a couple thousand years old. Hey, Barb, go up there next to it. Look at this cabbage that blew down into a limb up there and then continued to grow through the... I saw it from over here. That's what you call survival. It goes all the way up. Oh, I can touch... Oh, my God. I can see the end. It's amazing. Put a line through it to see... Oh, is this an end part? No, it's a, no. that's a cabbage tree. See the... Oh. It broke off. But look at how that one fell on it and then keep going. Yeah. Nothing's gonna stop it. That thing must have fallen in that limb 20 years ago. Mm. Yeah. You could probably trace that back to a hurricane that blew through here. Oh yeah, hurricanes would do a lot of forming of the canopy here. I guess you call that, this a canopy, right? That, that ranch that 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 I'm going to and my buddy bought. It has trees not quite this old, but damn near it. And that hurricane, the eye of that Cat 5 went right over their ranch and it freaking tore up those, those woods. Oh my God, it was just heartbreaking. Oh. I don't know what that looked like, all those giant trees that blew down. Yeah, I'm just a pickled asparagus. Down, knocked that one down. And that Right on my elbow. Yeah, there are some skeeters out here. Say hey. Say hey. Hi. back to the truck and there were these two women walk come walking out of the woods been out in the woods hunting and one of them was barefooted oh my God. she walked through the walks through the woods hunts and everything barefooted in the woods and she was a taxidermist Dead. Huh. I was looking at this, I said, this looks like a trail or something here, but it's a, it's a little finger of water flowing there. Those cypress skirts are so cool. Yeah, cypress, trees, cypress trees are hard to use as a uh, climbers because, you know, you, you latch them onto the tree and you latch them a little tighter at the bottom because when you climb up, it gets smaller and then it levels out the, the climber. But these things have these big skirts on them to where you, you've got to put the thing up about here to start. 
to take it, but it won't be great. Do you see out there the line? That's supposed to be where water gets that high. What line? See where there's yeah. this liner? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's a high water mark. It's pretty high. Yeah. It's like as high as the boardwalk. Probably is. There he is. There. Oh, there you go. Oh, did you get it? Yeah, I did. Uh, over there. He's yellow. Where? To your left. There's, there. I don't see that one. Oh, yeah, there he is. That's a pretty bug. He's man. got the dot on it, like this one. There's one back there. See, they're different. Okay. See, that one's got a dot, and, okay. and he's not green, like this one. Oh, no, there's another one right there. there. Where is he? This one back there flapping his wings out. They're all over back there. I've never seen a dragonfly like that before in my life. Look at, look at this one out here. See, see right over the top of that cypress knee, watching flare his wings out. He, yeah. he flaps them down and opens them up and then brings He's them back too up. far away. I haven't seen him do that. Watch him. There goes one. Yeah, There's the other one. This one's not moving so much. And like this guy. Yeah, this guy here's. He's proud of his wings. Yeah. You guys want a picture with the pickerels in it? Those purple flowers. That's good. Getting some video here. Which is the pickerel? These purple ones? Yeah, aren't they pretty? They are. Time of year. It's not an owl's nest. I don't think so. It's on the water. It's like a It's like a maybe owl would be busy. It's like a It's trying to attract a female. Look at me. Look at me. Look how pretty my hair is. Hey, it's Wednesday, March 27. We're going for another hike here in Highlands Hammock. And uh, came across that little opening, like a natural animal trail or something right there. That's pretty neat, huh? All kinds of hog been running around here and digging up the ground and stuff. Bunch of wild orange trees out here. That's what oh my god. We're talking about. Yeah, yeah there's one. Funny. Got caught in that palmetto a, a right there when it fell, fell out of the tree. From something and it got stuck in the cabbage palm uh, leaves. It might sprout. We're looking to get an orange so we can get the seeds. They're real sour. It'd be great for cooking. Uh, but figuring if they can survive out here without having any pesticides or fertilizers or anything might be a pretty robust tree to put in the yard where oh yeah oh there's one down low i think we can shake that one no one can i got a i got a stick i got a stick oh watch out for that root yeah i'm glad you tripped so i didn't <laughs> Shake it, baby. You gotta get a, a piece of pine tree and throw it up there at it. And put the back, back behind the limbs. And... Okay. Oh, 
kind of log it's hollowed out. Yeah. A critter probably hides in there. If I was a critter, I'd hide in there. Uh -huh. Why aren't there cypress trees in here? We got some uh, oranges back there, three of them. We're going to harvest the seeds for sure now. Well, they're hickory trees. This is the hickory trail. I saw an alligator yesterday. This looks like alligator town to me. That's a good point. No amphi. No amphi. Feature. Look at that weird looking roots. Yeah, I'm just looking at that right now. Wild? And they curve around and then they go down. They said, I'm going out and no, I'm going to go down. Yeah. I'm going to look for a food source down. These must all be hickory trees. Hickory? Yeah. It's just all underwater here. Looks to be about a foot deep. If you step in it, it might be about three feet deep though. Look at that pretty Looks like it's really mushy stuff. I got it. I got everything I need. I don't see any cypress knees at all. No. It's because there's no trees. Mm -hmm. Hmm. That's pretty. What, what do you call that plant? You think these are oaks, King? You think these are oaks with the big bark on them? Poison ivy right there. Man, look at the vine growing up on the side of the tree here. Huh. I'm itching just looking at it. There's lots of poison ivy out here. Can you tell by looking at this leaf here? This looks like an ivy. Oh, that's a big one. That's over 100 feet tall. That's a real pretty little plant right there. If I even Keith's this, over there getting a picture of it. I'll, I'll just get the picture from Keith. I don't want to walk through all that stuff. <laughs> Look at this. Look at that. Look at the character of that.
God, what a giant tree that was. I think there were some pocket birds out there. Armadillo. All right. Where? Oh, okay. I think there were cockaburs out there. You see how it has? Yeah. Or maybe that, one has, that one has concrete in it. You can see it on the side. Well, that was in a, they had concrete pots or something or pipes in there trying to hold it together and it broke mm -hmm. out. Or maybe it fell down. They said, let's put some pipes in no. it. No. can use it for a bench. No, it's got concrete. This is, isn't this concrete? Uh, it yes. looks like a pipe. No, okay. this is concrete. Oh, that's, that's concrete. concrete. They took up space with the pipes oh. in the middle and then poured the concrete around it. Wow. You see here where and it was... And look at that one has rebars inside still. Yeah. But still alive. Look at all the yeah, Okay, we're going up to the trailhead, wherever that is. Keith is going to meet us. This is a real pretty spot. I thought I'd start recording. We just rode underneath this bird on the road. Go to the other side and look, take his face. Okay, what was the name of this place again? Fern Garden Trail. Fern Garden Trail. So supposedly we're going to see a bunch of ferns. There's ferns. There's a boardwalk like this in the middle of Fort Myers. And there's like wild hogs running all, all along the boardwalk. And it's in the middle of the city. It's the most bizarre thing. Say hi. Hi. Look at all those ferns. All that back there is ferns too. Garden Trail. Alright, there's a deer right there. There's another one back behind there. Looking at me now.
and symbols, which is registered either by the railroad or by the post office. This records every place, every town, every place that you wished you lived in, that you did live in, that you moved away from, that you hope you can go live in. It'll tell you what the project was. It will give the symbols and all of that. The museum here is really cool. Uh, we got to see a couple of movies and um, that featured the history of the CCC. All kinds of neat stuff to look at. It was well worth the time to come here. And this building, in fact, was built by the CCC. Look at those giant beams, man. All right, keeping up with some e-bikes. It ain't easy, but we're doing it. What? Keeping up with the e-bikes. Yep. This is what, old dam road? Yeah, dam road. Dam road. Yeah. That's real pretty right there. Yep. Saw that, huh? This must be a bridge or a dam. Let's see what we got here. It's a little bit uphill. Please do not feed wildlife. Oh, it's flowing right here. Dam or a bridge, I don't know. Oh yeah, I can hear it. Bugs right there. You see one? Yeah. Let me see if I can move up there a little bit. Whoa. Almost got away from me. Oh, the alligator was back there? Yeah, right back there on the left. Oh, I missed it. That's a neat little wall we got there. That looks like some old craftsmanship. Wow, this is pretty. This is like the stuff jigsaw puzzles are made out of. This is a lot easier to pedal. Hey, man. I don't know, man. It looks like his eyes are open to me. Yeah. We can see if there's some more of them laying here. 
He's looking quite content. I think he wants to cuddle. <laughs> this is real pretty spot right here. Is he? Oh yeah. Sure you don't want to kayak in this? I don't kayak in the lots of hatching anymore. Too many. Ow, ow, the environment ow, was made, ow, made it so ow, that people can't enjoy it. I don't know if the audio is going to come out very good on this because of the wind, but we've pretty much gone around the whole darn Highlands hammock. I think the Mitchells are testing me if I can keep up. <laughs> right now we're on the east side of the camp. We went all the way around the primitive that's behind us. This is pretty nice. It's good and hard. How much? A couple miles, I guess, before we get to the uh, campsite. I'm tired. Look at that pavement. Road. Good pavement, right back there. So the camp's going to be really close. Oh yeah, there's the playground. We're really close to camp now. Cool. Oh, this is... I know what this road is. This is the one that said uh, no outlet or something on the sign. When we first arrived, we came up that road right there. And I saw this spot. And it looked like we were in the wrong spot. But meanwhile, our camping site was here. So we went all the way back around to get to our spot. Yeah. Take a cruise over to the bathrooms and show you that. They're really nice. Clean, they got laundry. Roots, incline. All right. All right. And they got a sink right there to wash stuff. I'll save you the inside for your own discovery. Welder. A welder. A 
okay. he builds those right. uh, bimini tops and boats and right. all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Is he in, on the island or is he? No, he lives like maybe 20 minutes from them. It's between the island and he lives close, more closer to Crawfordville. He's in Crawfordville. Okay. Yeah, it's just on the outskirts of Crawfordville. Crawfordville is a pretty good sized town? Or? Yeah, yeah, it has grown a lot. Yeah.